Powered Parachute 71 Takeoffs and Departure Climbs Let us embark on a scholarly exploration of the intricate dynamics surrounding takeoffs and departure climbs in the domain of powered parachutes. Takeoffs and Departure Climbs it is crucial to acknowledge that a significant proportion of powered parachute incidents unfolds during the crucial phase of takeoff. Unlike conventional aircraft, powered parachutes undergo a unique process in which the creation of the airfoil occurs precisely during the takeoff roll. Today, we shall scrutinize the profound importance of comprehensive knowledge, impeccable technique, and sound judgment in navigating this critical juncture. Terms and Definitions before delving further into the complexities, permit me to elucidate certain terms and definitions. Although the takeoff and climb represent a seamless continuum, for didactic clarity, we shall partition this maneuver into four distinct steps, equipment staging, takeoff roll, rotation and liftoff, and the inception of the initial climb. The denouement of this process materializes once our powered parachute ascends to a secure maneuvering altitude or establishes an en route climb. Laying out the wing. Now, let us pivot our attention to the intricate art of laying out the wing. A paramount facet of this procedure involves a meticulous understanding of wing inspection. Two prominent methodologies have emerged, the inverted method and the stacked method. The inverted method. Akin to unfurling a blanket on a beach, the bottom surface of the wing faces upward. This technique facilitates a meticulous inspection of the wing and its suspension lines, allowing the propeller blast to gracefully traverse over the wing, preventing premature inflation. Conversely, we encounter the stacked method, reminiscent of folding an accordion. Suspension lines extend rearward, providing a robust solution for windy conditions or instances where a paved takeoff area necessitates minimal ground drag. Cockpit Management As we seamlessly transition, envision a lecture hall where cockpit management takes center stage. Federal Aviation Administration regulations compel us, as conscientious aviators, to meticulously brief each soul on board regarding seatbelt and, if available, shoulder harness utilization. This briefing unfolds its wings, so to speak, before our mechanical marvels awaken. Passengers become acolytes of aviation, enlightened about takeoff, flight, and landing dynamics, as well as the nuances of normal sensations aloft. The cockpit, my dear scholars, demands our attention post entry a sanctum where the conductor orchestrates the symphony of flight. Ensure all accoutrements documents, checklists, navigation charts are secure. Should a portable intercom, headsets, or a handheld GPS grace our cockpit, let us be the stewards of order, ensuring wiring harmonizes seamlessly without encroaching upon control domains. In the tapestry of cockpit etiquette, fastening safety belts and snugly securing shoulder harnesses are rites of passage. The open cockpit, a proscenium where both pilot and passenger become thespians of safety, merits the constant embrace of seat belts. Adjustable seats, a potential nemesis, demand our vigilance. Lock them in position, for in the crucible of acceleration and pitch attitude changes, unchecked movement may sow the seeds of unbridled chaos. Before takeoff check. In our meticulous journey through the intricacies of powered parachute flight, the before takeoff check emerges as a vital prelude a systematic procedure befitting the gravity of impending flight. This procedure, akin to a ceremonial prelude, entails a final scrutiny of the engine, controls, systems, instruments, and avionics, a final act of diligence before we surrender ourselves to the skies. Furthermore, it bestows upon the discerning pilot the power to make a decisive go or no-go judgment. As we embark on this intellectual exercise, bear in mind the engine's temperament. In the realm of cold air, the engine's warmth dissipates faster, necessitating a brief pause to ensure it adheres to the manufacturer's prescribed minimums. The capricious wind, a fickle ally, warrants a re-evaluation of its direction. Adjust your takeoff position judiciously, steering clear of entanglements that may hinder your ascent. Start the engine, initial rollout. Our narrative now gracefully segues into the evocative act of starting the engine in the inaugural rollout. Visualize the symphony of preparations, priming the engine, toggling magnetos to the on position, and the rhythmic dance of the electric master switch. A resonant cry of clear prop, pierces the air as the engine awakens, heralding the prelude to flight. Engage in a ritualistic gaze, ensuring strobe lights illuminate the scene, the electric fuel pump hums in harmony, and oil pressure maintains its stoic composure. The ignition system, a guardian of our journey, undergoes a final scrutiny. This juncture, 
my esteemed aviators, bequeaths upon us the privilege to reaffirm our commitment to the imminent voyage. Peer into the runway's expanse, scrutinizing it for any vestiges of existing traffic. At non-towered airports, a ceremonial announcement echoes our intentions, at tower-controlled domains, our entreaty is directed towards the arbiters of air traffic. Wing inflation and kiting. Our odyssey then unfurls into the enchanting ballet of wing inflation and kiting, a spectacle where physics and artistry intertwine. As the powered parachute begins its role, we transcend the conventional norms. The objectives multiply, pressurize the wing, elevate it overhead, and orchestrate the delicate dance of airflow generation. Witness the canvas of this performance, the pressurization, our kiting, of the wing. Amidst this grandeur, we encounter a pivotal juncture where the cart yearns to embrace the skies. The throttle, a maestro's wand, is engaged with measured finesse, propelling the powered parachute into its journey of ascent. As the wing ascends, its initial role as a parachute with copious drag begins to wane. The cart, sensing newfound freedom, surges forward with accelerated alacrity. The throttle, a capricious accomplice, must be moderated to prevent premature airborne escapades. The delicate interplay between thrust and ascent must be choreographed with precision, lest the wing loses pressurization and gracefully retreats to terra firma. An astute pilot navigates this delicate equilibrium, smoothly transitioning the load from wheels to wing, orchestrating a seamless ballet of weight distribution. In the crescendo of takeoff, our attention divides, cart direction and wing inflation demand simultaneous scrutiny. As the wing ascends overhead, the rolling pre-flight unfolds, an ephemeral moment where the vigilant eye inspects for full inflation, free from line overs, end cell closures, pressure knots, or unwarranted oscillations. The subtleties are manifold. Line overs, brazen distortions that betray themselves, demand immediate cessation. End cells, reluctant to join the inflation fiesta, beckon our patience. Pressure knots, clandestine culprits, may be elusive. Hence, we pivot our gaze to the bottom surface, deciphering deformations that betray their presence. Normal takeoff. As we delve into the realm of takeoffs in the powered parachute domain, the normal takeoff emerges as a balletic spectacle, demanding precision, adherence to principles, and a symbiotic dance with the elements. Picture, if you will, a serene landscape where the powered parachute, our airborne protagonist, stands poised, headed into the wind, a choreography dictated by the gentle caress of light to moderate winds. Witness the tableau of a perfect takeoff, an undisturbed surface, free of debris, conspiring with the wind to sculpt an ideal ascension path. The stage is set for an aerial escapade. Takeoff Roll Our narrative unfolds with the takeoff roll, a juncture where commitment intertwines with the laws of aerodynamics. As the powered parachute hurtles forward, a symbiotic relationship emerges, the minimum airspeed required to maintain wing inflation and thwart the premature deflation that could derail our ascent. Amidst this kinetic tapestry, the ground controls and flight controls waltz in harmony, steering the cart and wing in unison. A ballet of coordination unfolds, ensuring that the cart and wing traverse the same trajectory, avoiding the pitfalls of discord. Rotation. A pivotal moment ensues as the wing, laden with lift, entices the cart's nose skyward. The steering reins, once obedient to the nose wheel, now yield to the whims of the wing. Yet, Caution echoes through the skies, tight radius turns during this juncture court peril and are wisely avoided. Lift off. The crescendo builds as the wing, now overhead and suffused with added power, orchestrates a graceful liftoff. The powered parachute, unshackled from terrestrial bonds, flirts with the skies in a dance of weightlessness. Initial climb. With the cart airborne, a judicious throttle setting becomes our compass. A delicate balance, maintaining the throttle that initiated liftoff, propels the powered parachute into an initial climb. Here, prop torque reveals its subtle influence, steering the craft with a gentle but persistent hand. In this ethereal ascent, vigilance becomes our ally. Prop torque's subtle nudge to the left, compounded by the capricious wind, demands meticulous attention. Our powered parachute, now aloft, charts a trajectory aligned with the runway. Collision avoidance and altitude preservation guide our aerial navigation. A poignant observation emerges, the powered parachute's dance with the skies morphs with changing weights. A solitary aviator, unburdened by additional weight, experiences an airborne embrace sooner, a steeper ascent, and a heightened sensitivity in flight controls. As we navigate this celestial dance, 
pitfalls lurk in the shadows. The aviator's gaze must not waver, and the choreography demands flawless execution. The sins of inadequate area clearance, suboptimal staging positions, and a failure to respect the wind's direction cast shadows on the performance. Abrupt throttle actions and a failure to anticipate left-turning tendencies sow discord in the dance. Let us, as aviators, internalize these lessons, for a normal takeoff is not merely a mechanical act, it is an intricate ballet between machine and nature, where errors can disrupt the harmony. The powered parachute, a vessel of aeronautic poetry, soars, dictated by the winds, propelled by knowledge, and choreographed by the discerning aviator. If you click, like, and, subscribe, and leave a comment, we will provide a coupon for a free PDF download one of nine ebooks. However, each individual can only download up to, one, out of nine ebooks for free.